So yeah, I guess it makes me smile I found it hard, it was hard to find Well, whatever, never mind
What's up, Bandidos? And we're live. It's Tuesday, May 9th, and we got a weekly reset as long, along with title update. What is it? 17.3 now? Something like that. Anyways, so the man had dropped today, so we are now able to take down Stovepipe. And that is our agenda today, as well as take down all of his Capitans. That's right. I have a very special stream for you today because I have bottled up all the captains for this day so that we can take them all down. Let's get into it. It was all a dream. Now I'm in the limelight of the rock type. Time to get paid, blow up like the world trade. And if you don't know, now you know. Born sinner, the opposite of a winner. I'm the one I used to eat sardines for dinner. Used to raw G, goofy beef, just to drink. Watch this. And if you don't know, now you know. And I'm back. What's up, banditos? Looking forward to taking down all of our targets that I have been so patient about. So uh, let me show you what I'm talking about here. So uh, the manhunt. All right. So this is the final target for year four, which is Stovepipe. And he comes with four additional captains. I'm sure you guys know that by now. But I've completed all of the minor tasks and I've left his dudes to take down all in the single stream i have really found this is a very fun way to do it because um it kind of feels like a dlc when you do it this way you know what i mean so when you do them all back to back it's kind of like a mini little dlc because they you know they change missions for these guys and whatever and sometimes they change them in major ways and sometimes they change them in little ways but yeah it's just kind of fun to make it more of an event this way instead of just uh, taking them all down individually so uh we'll run it on heroic uh probably without uh, directives i don't see the point of doing that but i don't know whatever the group wants to do so i am going to open up my game so for anybody that's already on my roster if you want to jump in then you are welcome to jump in at any time i haven't opened it up quite yet but i will in a minute including you jaco because i know you have an xbox account <laughs> uh so whatever you want to do though bro but i know you, you you're talking about spoilers over there but anybody everybody's welcome and so um so auntie we got to take down auntie first so we're going to start off a little bit casually uh by taking down her little uh, minor tasks and then before we kill her we're not going to kill her we're going to once we take down her minor tasks what we're going to do is go all the way back to chunks and we're going to beat it in order so this should be cool you know what I mean? This would be cool. This would be cool. And it looks like this is going to be at uh, Lincoln and then Potom. I'm sure so many of you have already done these little things. Title. And then we don't know where she's going to be quite yet. I don't, at least. Um, oh, you know what? She's probably she's probably going to be at the uh, the island, right? I don't know. We'll see. And then Stovepipe, which I believe he's back at Washington. The White House. So, and then we get the cosmetic uh, chest piece there that should be a skin. It should not be an exotic. Uh, we knew that from the beginning. And we don't want exotics locked behind manhunts because then we have to wait to get them till the end of the season, like the doctor's home. And that was a big disappointment. So I know people are disappointed that there's no exotic back here, but they got a lot of grief. That was intentional. So the community said, don't put exotics behind a manhunt. We hate not being able to grind for it and having to wait because this, because this is on a timer, right? So it's literally had to wait to get to stovepipe. There's no way to get to stovepipe before, which means that everybody got the doctor's home on the same day, basically, right? And it's not like the rewards track where you can grind for your exotics or whatever. So we don't want exotics back here. So that's that. The community has spoken. <laughs> yeah, only two this season, though. Yeah, I thought that was weird, too. I brought that up at the very beginning. I was like, really? There's only two? I was like, maybe that chess piece isn't exotic. I wondered that, too. But we did ask um, at the beginning of the season when it kicked off. We did ask, and they did respond to that. 
So, um, cool. So, okay. A couple of things. Let's talk about builds real quick. So yesterday we had a really great live stream. I hope you guys were able to join us yesterday. But yesterday uh, we actually created several builds. All right. But not the, well, this is one of them. And so I'm going to use this one. This is just a, a really fun uh, armor on kill season 11 build. Um, and, um, you know, get focused around the ninja bike and lots of armor on kill. And then I'm using determine with no scope. Um, what do we got? 45% armor on kill on this one. So let's see 10, 20, 30. Yeah. 45% armor on kill. And you can even run preservation if you want to go above and beyond. And then we also got 1% armor regen and uh, with 1.1 million armor. So very fun, very fun. So I'm going to just do this one just to take down auntie's tasks. And then we're going to put on the really cool stovepipe build that we built yesterday. And I'm going to put it together right now. Okay. So if you, um, <clears throat> I'm, go I'm gonna go ahead and open up my game for anybody that wants to jump in so it's open actually it's already open there you go oh you should check your settings by the way every time they do a uh, a title update you need to check your settings because sometimes they reset your settings and it looks like they did on my um this looks all the same but my preferences for grouping up were automatically changed when I logged in um aim assist is off okay that's good so it looks like my settings are the same so sometimes when they do title updates the, all your settings can be uh reverted so it's a really good idea to take a screenshot as a matter of fact i'm gonna do that right now because i haven't done it yet so take a screenshot of your say of your settings if you have finally tuned them for like camera sensitivity and whatnot so uh then otherwise you have to do that task again so I'm going to start with the, again, the casually, but before uh, with this one, but before we do, let's go ahead and put on this really cool build that we created yesterday. And cause that's what I'm going to use for the remaining target. When we get to the bosses, I'm actually going to use an assault rifle build, I think. Um, and I think it's cause, um, there's a lot of like tech and skills. And so assault rifle, uh, will really help with that, with that health damage. And so, uh, we, if you look at Stovepipe's picture, like the cover of my live stream, um, Punish, I'm on Xbox. Let me know if you're on Xbox. And so, if you look at his picture, he's holding the F2000. So, I decided to build an F2000 build and call it the Stovepipe build. We don't know any other uh, details of his build, of course. And so, I'm using the Shield Splinter. You don't have to use a Shield Splinter. Um, but uh, this one gives us perfect Optimus. So, if you don't have... Uh, this exact one just run regular optimist on yours or whatever talent you really want uh i just decided to go with the named version but if you want measured if you want uh um anything else really whatever you go with there ranger or something like that go for it whatever this build will work so i i like to run with the scope um and this gives me the option to change out chest pieces but the mods are very particular here okay and so it's, we have an 850 rpm 50 to mag and then i'm running um the omega for 20 percent stability that really helps and then the 8x for 30 percent and more headshot damage but also for zooming in i just i like the 8x scope even if i'm running and gunning and heroic content i i really enjoy that scope but uh it also gives me an option on my chest so one way we were running this last night and really enjoyed it and i'm going to give you the pros and cons of each chest piece because we have two Okay, so two builds. So I, I I was running perfect focus and this gives you major damage. Okay, so that's 60% increased total weapon damage. And so when you see the words increased total, that's really good. That's multiplicative type damage. So uh, instead of just weapon damage, if you see things that just say weapon damage, that's not as good as uh, increases total, total, total weapon damage. You want the word total in there, really. And so, um, so we're running that one, and then we're also running this Grupo with Obliterate. And so the difference between the two is really um, burst damage versus sustained damage. So the pristine example, like uh, I think there's like Marauders and Marauders and Warhounds. So this is going to do better against those, where uh, Obliterate uh, on the Grupo is going to do better just on your on your standard NPCs run around. And so this one's technically stronger. But this one's got more burst damage so you know pros and cons pros and cons and then this one's le less tedious right you don't have to worry about um being in scope for a long amount of time or whatever so 
so other than that what we ended up doing is uh this is a pretty cool build okay so i just can put on this backpack because i think that's where we're running and then uh we ended up building around the catharsis and that made it really nice okay because we were using this so with the objective let me tell you the objective of the build so we figured like okay for bosses like stovepipe we were like or any other manhunt bosses but bosses are usually what guys they're usually uh tanky and strong right they can dish damage and they can uh they can wait yeah they can deal it and they can take it <laughs> that's what i want to say they can deal it and they can take it so we were like okay so let's be really strong but also uh highly protected too so what we did is uh and this ended up being a really cool build and one version we got up to 1.4 million but you're gonna probably average about 1.2 to 1.3 million with this build um and so i think we were running it this way this looks right so we decided to go all armor um here and then we got the crits the crit mods and so if you look we're at about 38 92 that's good that's where we want to be and then why do we have so much armor well we don't have much armor on kill if any and i'll tell you talk about that in a second but um what we want is the shield we want a really good shield and so a uh, tier six shield the reason why you want a really strong shield is because of the catharsis mask so this thing was dropping bombs all day long so the catharsis gives you 30 percent weapon damage right and when you have full stacks and then it, from there it purges and heals you with amazing heals okay it's not just a little heal it's a big heal and so this thing's uh and so the reality is with vicious cycle you really want it to cycle literally cycle 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 you want it to constantly purge up and down up down up down up down and so otherwise you're probably not using it very very much you know because it's very hard to keep it at like 30 stacks and then maintain that because that means you're not taking any damage and it's possible to do that for a little bit but it's not really in your control to uh, whether you take damage or not it's the enemies <laughs> it's the enemies that are in control of that right so so you want the shield to give you the resistance to constantly cycle vicious cycles. So that's what the shield does, okay? And so in the end, we decided to run a firewall so that we could have a shield that also gives us damage by running the striker shield. It also gives you a really good med kit, uh, which is somewhere right here. There it is, 200% armor and 200% health over, over 10 seconds. So it's very strong. Um, and then if you don't want the stronger shield you could also go gunner and so each has its merits okay um i mean you can even go technician technically and pick up the skill tier and also that could help against tech we might even do that today actually that would give us a stronger skill tier um and so it's it depends so what i found is like a lot of enemies were uh dying before we they even got to our shield cone for the additional damage we were doing so well so if the enemies play deep then you probably don't want firewall even though it's going to give you more damage that's that's mostly like when the enemies are pushing in your face a lot so but if you know if you shoot on marauders you know that the striker shield is only going to help you a little bit because it's got better mods but otherwise the shield strength is going to be the same whether you go striker or crusader so th that's the toughest decision of these builds okay is is going to be the chest piece but i mean sorry is going to be the shield which means your specialization from there the chest piece i would bring both okay and so depending like so if we're going to be fighting the marauders then i'm probably going to switch to my raldi chest which i really do switch gears in the middle of a fight but it's something I'm gonna try to do. And then uh, for regular, just running around um, through the missions, then I'm just gonna run Obliterate because they're all gonna die really fast anyways. So, and because they die so fast, we don't really get to the, you know, to the uh, top of the focus damage. All right, so this is gonna be our assault rifle build. So let's just, uh, let me think about, uh, so if I got the heals, I mean, I should probably run gunner to be safe. So let's just do that. But technician is really interesting to me too, because that would give me a, an extra skill tier, which would allow me to take off an armor core and then run that into a weapon damage core. So that's what's kind of interesting about that. But um, this is nice to fill in the gaps with the heals too. And then also for ammo. So let's just make sure it is where it needs to be. And it looks like it is. So for ammo reasons, it's nice to run that. 
So I can do that. So that's a change from yesterday. Because in the end with yesterday, we decided to run for heroic content. We decided to run. Um, what do we call it? Firewall. So we're going to play shield health here. Actually, we'll put uh, regen. And then we'll go shield health there. That's good. And then uh, depending on where, where, what we're doing, so we're going to use a decoy in some por parts of this. And then otherwise, we'll be using the healer just to give us some in-between heals. I need to apparently... I trashed my mod up there. Duration mod. Okay, so that looks good. So let's uh, finalize 38... 92 good so i so either way just so you know if i decide to go obliterate on the chest which i will probably swap back and forth i still keep um the scope on still keep the scope on so this thing it's really hard um this one i think is 1.3 without the uh striker shield around there 1.3 million so okay uh let's save it so that we can swap to it later Wait, save it. There we go. Cool. And then, so yeah, so this is going to be our assault rifle build for today. And then, very tanky, very fun. And then we're going to run, um, look at this crazy beast. All right, look at that scope. <laughs> All right, and then for now, uh, for these easy stuff, we're going to use the sniper build. Oh, thanks, Rich. They're working on a patch. All right. Yeah, it looks like there's some workarounds. Check out what Chinto PR put up. Uh, he's really got... That's what I understand the uh, workarounds to be, too. Um, as soon as Kelso walks in... I was wondering, is it as soon as Kelso walks in or before Kelso walks in? But what up, Matt? Good to see you in here. So, okay, cool. So let's see where we got to take on this lady's minor targets. She's on the west end, right? Up here? Yeah. Yeah, so it looks like uh, Rich is watching the feed for us, and apparently uh, he's reported that the devs are working on a patch. So hopefully they'll get that ASAP. But, you know. <laughs> How soon? We don't know. Yeah, they're working on a lot of patches. <laughs> There's a lot that's totally accurate. There's a lot of patches they're on right now. <laughs> it's got to be so stressful, though, right? Okay, let me turn this thing off. I don't like the line. OG in the house. What's up, OG? You playing, boy? I got my uh, game open if you want to jump in, man. They like to play games, and I'm pretty sure they've left some breadcrumbs for you to pick up. Okay, so we're taking down Auntie's minor tasks, and then we're going to go back to the first boss. Yeah, there really is no rush. I mean, it's a, it's a cosmetic chess piece. Okay, so we want to use... Um, we don't have any uh, attack 50 ammo yet. So let's see who we got here. Oh, really? You saw me right there? Fucker. Right as I was pulling my trigger. Ah, oh, they're good at that. Fuckers. Now, that, that fire's gonna last like an hour or two. So I can't even like go back to that spot. Coming for you, motherfuckers. I usually do the manhunts um, with a sniper. I like I like sniping on manhunts. I don't know why.
Where's Mr. Right from? It's raining, man. Ah, that was a fuck up. Gotta get into our groove. Stay back. Fucker. You see that my gun, it's got that weird looking scope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit, this is super daddy gun. Super daddy gun. Stay away. You don't want to get shot by this fucker. That's a 200% headshot damage scope. You don't know about this. You guys know about this scope? <laughs> it's like I got two scopes up there. Fucker. You bet you can't use it, huh? Oh, there's a boss right there. Exotic! First mission? Yes, please. Busy, busy around here, huh? Run, motherfucker, run. I like my armor kill. Fuck, I didn't see her. Double kill? No. Oh, what? They didn't kill him? Nemesis time. Nope. She's not gonna let me do that. Up, crazy lady. Ah, oh, that was my bad. Come on, she's a pain in my ass. She always is, dude. Always is. Fucking lady. Good armor and kill, though. You see that armor jump up. Mill spec, what up? Busy over here, isn't it? Uh, 
Upsie daisy. Oopsie daisy. This is why I like running a nemesis on boss phases, because it's fun to one-shot these guys. They let you. Except this one's not letting me. Over here, over here. Almost had him. I thought they were going to give us a message. A message, huh? Ooh, that's a nice USC 45. I have good builds for this. Uh, Sager USC. It's actually a pretty good weapon. It's one of those. It's one of those weird ones. Actually ends up being fun. <laughs> Jammer poster, welcome. <laughs> I like it. Cool, cool, cool. Against the Razorback, because I, I I know there's a Razorback back there, but uh, yeah, take a mini little raid. I have a, I don't know all the details at all, so yeah, it'll be a surprise to me. I just know glimpses. It does pick up a little bit of explosive damage, Butter Ghost. Yeah, it does pick up a little bit, the Merciless. Um, it's just not... You just don't have a lot of space on your build to make it worth it. That's the only reason why I don't do it. Um, you're better off adding the crits. Because the explosion only happens once every 14 hits, right? It's the 14th hit. And so you got the other 13 hits not doing shit for you. So you got you to gotta get damage on those. Because the explosion is more of a finisher. You know what I mean? I mean, sometimes you can take down targets all the way with it, of course, depending on uh, the target's health bar, but. Heat seeking grenades? Oh my god. Really? Oh man, we need new skills, I'm telling you. So if you're just not joining me, I am running this badass scope. <laughs> so yeah that is 200 percent headshot damage scope look at that beast of a scope uh and it connects to your gun just by a little wire so just a little wire there so it floats over your scope <laughs> And it's, it comes with a digital television and cable TV. You can stream YouTube on that. Uh, and it's uh, technically a GoPro, so you can give your first person uh, POV. <laughs> you get a GoPro on your, and your beast of a sniper here. So yeah, yeah, one of the best weapons in the game when you add that scope to it. You're welcome. From the words of Milspec Mom. You're welcome. <laughs> no, it's a visual glitch. So what's happening is that it's taking the scope from the nemesis. It doesn't help me. Like, I can't zoom in or anything like that. It's just a visual glitch. So when I... It's taking the scope from the nemesis. I've seen this before. I don't know why, but... Why it does this sometimes? See, that's the Nemesis scope. And so technically I'm running no scope on my Mantis. See that? That's why there's no automatic zoom where if you use a Nemesis, it auto zooms. So <laughs> Yeah, your your pistol does take it. I've seen a pistol take the, the digital scope before. It's also funny. Okay, yeah, so right now we are just on these minor tasks. So we got two control points left. A bounty and a rescue. So this shouldn't this shouldn't take oops, fuck, that's not what I meant to do. Thought I had a nemesis. The scope threw me off. It's already working against me.
Oh great, I'm boxed in. Little fucker. I see you back there throwing fucking grenades. in the corner turret sometimes I don't like to take them too soon because I want to get to the upstairs Come here, you fucker. Give me your face. Oop, heavy gunner. Run! <laughs> they called my bluff. Got for that decoy, huh? Go back up. Come on, you old fucker. That's right, come right at me. Fucker. Oh, fucking charge, huh? I might could use the TAC 50 here because we got our headhunter buff, but. Fuck, I missed her. <laughs> yeah, the slowly walking in thing is kind of kind of crazy, right? It's like Jesus. Wait, 
sucks to kind of skip this cutscene too, you know? You only watch that thing once. But whatever. Give me my chest piece, skin. I'd like some exclusive named items at the end of those bosses. Do we like a healer chest? Maybe he had the right stats. Grab it. Here we go max armor sniper one of these days. So let's see, so one more control point and then the bounty and rescue op, okay. The rescue ops are pretty simple, they're pretty quick. The bounties annoy me. <laughs> God, always get lost in bounties. Am I alone? I, I, that's why I don't like the bounties. Like, I, I mean, if you do them a lot, I get it. You, you memorize the maps that they're on, the level. But um, I don't do them enough. And so I always forget, like, where's that entrance? And I'm walking around the same city block over and over again, looking for that entrance. Yeah, you too. Okay, great smoke, smoker. I, I I didn't want to feel alone. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> Just makes you feel a little ridiculous when you're out running around and getting lost in a game you've been playing for years. I'm not a big fan of bounties. I I don't know. I like the idea of a bounty. Fucker. Oh, that grenade looked like it wanted to come right at me, huh? Where'd he go? Oh, there's two of them, huh? Come here, you fucker. God, I swear there was this guy there. Oh, there is. Let's try this again. Oh my god, look at all those riot foam guys. That's, that's the fourth one right there. that I'm avoiding actually oh we just nicked the boss didn't mean to do that fuck Guys, these fucking foamers, the way they walk. How dare you make me sh shoot another bullet? <laughs> One shot kill is in two shots, is it? Electra Scarlet, I caught you live. What's up, Electra? How are things in the UK? I did an early stream just for you, Electra. Just for you. Do you like your new blue skull, by the way? Okay, where are these guys coming from? Is there some... Uh, oh, there's the rescue op. Oh, I see. He's hiding back here. Timing me out. Yeah. He's way over there. I get it. I get it. 
This fucker. What's wrong with him? <laughs> that one was silly. <laughs> you know? Like... He was didn't know where he was. Fuck. Missed that. Turn around, guys. They're over here. Negative flux and Gooch. What up, Gooch? Flux, you've been here for a while, haven't you? You get a lot done with the single decoy, huh? Oh, you didn't go down to 18 million? like calling her auntie that's creepy yeah so we're only using this sniper build for the um just the uh the open world stuff but once we get to the manhunt i'm gonna switch probably to the assault rifle build that we built for stovepipe so we made a stovepipe build and it looks like this because he's running an f2000 so it looks like that it's actually using the catharsis and it hits really hard uh, we used it yesterday. It was a lot of fun. So that's a catharsis. Um, um, what do you call it? Shield splinter build. And it hits at about 1.3 on average. It changes because it depends on how many people are standing in front of you. If you decide to run uh, firewall, which we were yesterday. But I'm going to run gunner because some of our targets are pretty far away. So a little more ammo with gunner, gunner and armor on kill. It'd be helpful for that and then we'll use the decoy and then i guess the uh jammer pulls from time to time Uh, delete a couple things here real quick uh, including the merciless a lot of rifles that's a good one right there though keep that one for a minute
Oh, you Jeff, you revived somebody at the White House. Yeah, there's a there's a glitch that does that. I th is I think it's a PVP thing. Um, or I can't remember. It might be a mission. It's something where like, what happens is you die d doing some activity, and then it loads you back at the White House. Then you load back, you know, in your down state. Something weird like that. I saw somebody do it. It was on accident. And somebody walked by and was like, hey, this guy looks like he needs help. <laughs> and they pick him up. It was kind of funny. It was kind of funny. It was like this, almost like a skit. And the guy was like, are you all right? He's like, yeah, I don't know what happened, man. I was playing this mission. I went down and I ended up here and couldn't get back up. My reviver hive wouldn't pick me up. He was like stuck. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, that's funny that you said that, Jeff. I just revived somebody at the White House. It was weird. It is weird. It's like, what happened to you, man? Get up. <laughs> All right, so we're almost there. So we got to do, what is this one? This is, uh, we need to do a bounty and a rescue up. Oh, that's the rescue up. Okay, good. So we're kind of close. Yeah, I'm not, I wonder if they're gonna fix it all, negative flex, or I was kind of confused on how that's gonna pan out. Myself, like, is it um, just like the shock traps, that kind of, because that one's real, the shock traps are real buggy with your armor on kill. See, this is, I think I'm going the right way, but I don't know. Or I'm completely going the wrong way. And <laughs> going to end up. Yeah, this looks right. Okay, good. I don't normally come from that angle. I usually come from the other side, the Potomac side. Nearby hostage situation detected. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, you fucker. Right when I shoot. That's kind of why I like the... I'm going the right way or the wrong way? Looks like there's people. Huh. Maybe I gotta jump over? Hope so. There's no way going back, is there? Missing. Did I miss somebody? They look like they were on the other side of the wall. That's the thing. Yeah, no, I'm stuck back here. Fucking thing. I gotta run around. Yeah. Huh. 
I'll get that. I mean, where are they supposed to be? I'm I'm here. I'm in it. <laughs> you know, I feel like did it not spawn? Did somebody? It felt looked like there was like an enemy on the wrong side of the fence. I'm run around and see if that's the case. Friendly control point nearby. You see, the map is what's throwing me off, the mini map. But either way, I think I'm going right back to where we were, right? Yeah. Okay. Wait for me! Okay, here it is. We're in it again. I see the key. Oh, was it just I didn't grab the key? Maybe that was that... Forgot about the key, that's why. Dirt! 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 Yeah, I'm getting my exercise off. Shit, my guy's lazy. He doesn't like to do exercise. Keep telling you guys that. Crucis! Thanks for that sub with your prime, man. Appreciate that. I think I just forgot to grab the key. I think that's all I needed to do. But I saw the uh, the red guy, the red dots, and so I was going for that on the map. You know, it looked like there was an enemy over there, and so I figured they were on the other side, but I should have grabbed the key before I jumped over that. There we go. Rescue hostage downstairs. Gotcha. I didn't need to jump at all. All right. Annoying. And 72 kills this year? <laughs> That's impressive. 371. Actually. So I activated that bounty. It's it's always confusing when they do that, right? Because you're basically getting an extra bounty. And so you don't know if you should grab that one. Is like, is that the manhub bounty or is it a random bounty? And it's a random bounty, I think, right? And so um yeah so i think it must be kennedy so let's abort and then let's go to um over here and then go to bounties and take out the right one there we go Oh man, give me, let me jump in on that. GB72, what up, man? Dr. Hannes is back. Yeah. Yeah, we can try to work around it. You're close to the target.
Fucking, it must stink around here, right? All that trash. Oh. There we go. Think they're gonna jump me in here? Feels like a trap. Come on, I can do it through the building. I mean, through the window, right? Apparently not. Better ammo up after that shit. I was just kind of fucking around, but you should be able to get them through the windows. Yeah, Fomer first, no accident. You know me well. Yeah, it was Fomer, and then it was the. Um... There you go, Fomer first again. They. Uh... Uh, turret guy. Yeah. Mm, I guess up. So good close quarters uh, a sniper too, by the way. Looks like he's in the building. Don't they? Oh yeah, this guy right here. You know what to do. I think we go down or across? Looks like down and across. What? How dare you, game? How dare you? Okay, so no, this is just a stupid room, all right? catch on fire, you know? Fucker. No, no. That's your target. Do I have a line of sight on him? Because we could just finish this right here and now, you know what I mean? Let's see what's up. It's a sniper. Fuck. Fuck, I can't. Oh, I guess I can't take cover here. God damn it. Okay, forget the charging up. It's annoying me. Because they do shit like that, right? <laughs> Let me use my super duper scope. Come on. Get that pixel. There it is. There's the boss.
Looks like there's one more down here. Yeah, there is. Come on back, dude. Oh, you're annoying. Okay, I'm gonna go look at my gear. You let me know when you're ready to die. There it is, I think. All right, so we can now do the man hunts. All right, so um, where's this guy? Lincoln Memorial. So we're gonna start with chunks, then Lieutenant Bantam, then Curse. Charles Chunks Crawford was a Navy nuke. Okay, let me um, change my build. We're gonna put on the assault rifle not one now, switch it up. And then on this, I'm gonna go ahead and run um, obliterate. Cause I don't think it's gonna be. A lot of tech and tank, tanky enemies, but we'll see. See if I made the right choice. So I think that's a Jefferson, didn't it? I'll uh, just take a look. Yeah. Uh, Lincoln, Lincoln Memorial. Okay. Thanks, Colin. Yeah, we just completed all the auntie tasks. And so now we're gonna do all the bosses back to back. in order okay so let's see here um so i think i got a toggle mission mode which one do you have to do do you have to do it on Let's see mission options. Doesn't it supposed to show up right here? Man on Lincoln Memorial chunks. Toggle mission mode. Is it because it's invaded? Is that or do I need to do it on story? It's a bounty, but it, okay. Okay. I'm with you. I was, oh yeah, there it is. I see. That's confusing. Isn't that confusing? Okay. 
Um, so it must be... Yeah, I get it, okay. Uh, activate. Thank you for that, guys. That's why I have you. All right. So here we go. Assault rifle build time. I'm going to run mine with the scope. Catharsis were super tanky and strong. Um, and I, I wish I could run armor on this, but I don't have that right now. So otherwise, we're running this on heroic. And it looks like we're fighting the tusk. So let's do it. Oh, speaking of. Let's add some stacks real quick. The hell? What are you doing here? Okay, let's let's assault rifle somebody to death. Thanks for that. See the nice little heal cloud we get there? Let's get up there and have some fun. I'm gonna get away. Oh, I got in the back, huh? Where'd he come from? Come on, Warhound, I would love to have you come by so I can build stacks off of you. Oh, you dropped down. I knew it was going to drop fucking gear. <laughs> That's why I looked back. I was like, you better not drop gear. I don't think uh, we haven't got to the prize yet, but it shouldn't be an exotic. Oops. Oh, 
That's what you meant. I think it's a skin. Shoot, shoot. Fucking thing. Oh, I hate those fucking tanks. Once I shoot the fire grenades, that's mean, right? Good luck, Ashley. You can do it. Fucking double reload. Fucking stovepipe, huh? He's got a good build. Yeah, I mean, look at our armor. It's, and our shield doesn't break very easy. I mean, I still have to watch my shield a little bit, but... We got distance on our side, too. I need to. I need to, Colin. I'm just really lazy. I don't always do my makeup, so, you know. Gotta do your hair. Gotta get your hair did. <laughs> Gotta do my eyelashes. Is not this door doesn't open or what? Can I shoot the right one? Uh, I guess I don't care. Huh? Is that right? All right. Whatever. Then these gates are opening, huh? All right. Cool. Whatever. I guess it's for the regular mission only. Where'd you come from? Bruh. Encrypted file detected. Uploading to database for analysis. Oh, 
shoot him anyways. Please don't give me a fucking pulse in here. Get out of here. I can fucking see you. I think the fight would be this soon with the boss, huh? Get brave, get brave, get brave. We can go upstairs. I'll tell you about my cardio. Identification confirmed. Charles, Chunks, Crawford. Status deceased. Eliminated. We have black tusk to worry about. Good work, Agent. We've decrypted one of the drone recordings. Meet me at the castle if you want to listen to it. All right, banditos. There we go. I like the build, man. What do you guys think of the build? Running our stovepipe build. Woo! Gray Smoker, appreciate your upgrade, brother. You rock. Hopefully, you're taking advantage of the uh, member perks. Uh, if you don't know where they are, they're at the top of my YouTube homepage. There's a members playlist there. Appreciate you, man. Thank you for kicking in. Supporting the dream. Yeah, it's a good build, huh? It's a good build. Yeah, it really works. I mean, the heals are, are fine. You know what I mean? We got the little bit of armor kill to kick in too. But again, um, on some of them, we're going to switch to chest pieces. Uh, to go focus if we uh, pulling in more distance. So I guess we got to go to the, the White House, huh?
Yeah, I like a three piece hot shot too. I find that's a really good setup. Replace it, you know, back in the day, the three piece aces was the way to go. Isn't this the computer that we gotta use? Use a computer. What com is there another computer? Isn't this a computer? It Maybe there's another computer. Oh, it's pointing at me somewhere else. Oh, it's a castle computer. Gotcha. Thanks, Sebastian. Thanks, Colin. Ryan. <laughs> you guys are like, come on, Tux. Follow the... I know. I just presumed there, you know? Clearly showed me to go to the castle. Do you guys already finish this? I can run a pull. Hostile control point detected. All right. I want to assure you that this is merely a hypothetical question. Okay. Hypothetically, what would happen to a mortar operator if they were to use a launcher that had previously housed a dirty bomb? Too many factors to consider. Exposure time. Amount of radioactive material, amount of transfer, what kind of particulate? It wouldn't be instantly fatal? Of course not. We're exposed to radiation every day. By the time you're showing symptoms of radiation poisoning, it's generally too late. Thank you, Chunks. Why are you asking? No reason. I just like to be prepared for all scenarios. Something unlocked. Let's see if I happen to have a Cheska chess piece. I'd prefer that. Oh, it might be on my other character. I mean, we could do Fenris also. I'd rather have a Obliterate, I guess. I mean, a uh, Grupo. But uh, there's Cheska. I could probably swap that. Let's just do that. That might put us in a better position with our crits. Um, let's see. Just trying to even it out a little bit. It's not going to make much of a difference, but just to do it right. And we'll run obliterate. Detected. Nearby location. Guarded by hostiles. Obliterate. Obliterate. I will obliterate you. Kenny, you're from Spain? Right on. Can I call you Theo? 4493, that's pretty even. Uh, let's push the crit damage up then. How does that put us? 44105, that's about right. Okay. It's about the same, just a little bit, but a little push. It's a couple points up. All right, let's see where we're at. So what did it unlock for us? The next manhunt? That's probably all I did, right? Potomac Event Center Lieutenant Bantam. Okay, cool. This is where we are at. So I guess we have to go up here. Probably bounty again, I'm guessing. Uh, bounty. Yeah. Lieutenant 
Portland, Oregon. I'm from Oregon. We had some thunderstorms last night. It's pretty cool. We don't get a lot of those. Once or twice a year. It's already hot over there. Yeah, we're getting a late delay here on our sunshine. All right, here we go. Same build. Just change the chest piece just to optimize the crits a little bit. So should perform the same. You won't notice a difference. Just to do it as close to right as possible. When we made it last night, I didn't have a chest on me. Let's find a poor unsuspecting soul. There's one. Bad reload, bad reload. Uh, this is the shield splinter, the named F2000, and this build is modeled after a uh, stovepipe. Uh, I mean, it's an invention, but he's running the F2000. So we're like, let's make a stovepipe build. So we did that last night's stream. And so, of course, we don't know what he's actually running, but we do know he likes that F2000. Take out that sniper, she's gonna hurt that shield. You don't mind your shield taking damage, just not big bursts of damage. We want to take damage on this build. Damage good. That's why you see me kind of standing in the open sometimes. What I'm doing is gaining stacks, winning heals. Ooh, fucking fire. God damn it. Don't like that, though. Your time to kill is still your primary uh, form of survivability. And so when you can't shoot, that's not good. There's our heal. As you can see, it's pretty nice. Let's get up there. There's weird angles in this area, huh? Aloha. Yeah, killing the guy with his own weapon. Exactly. Very poetic. That's like the white death, right? He does that. 
The White Death from Bullet Train. Thanks for the sacks, big boy. Who's this guy trying to get an angle? Oh, I thought I had my shield out. Little heal somewhere. Where's that? Big guy. The guy in the... That little red guy to the side of me is my nervous guy. He's the one making me nervous. This guy. The big boy, he's not going to be a problem. It's a big, fat, juicy target for you, you know? Like I said, we're running almost max armor. I would run max armor if I had the right chest piece. Um, the Rawley chest piece, when I run that, that has max armor on it. Another one? Coming up behind this, huh? And there's a medic. Idiot. Just blew himself up. No, I don't feel like I'm too powerful for the game. It's certain builds. They, um, <clears throat> and certain content, yeah. Missions are really easy. That's why I don't really play missions. Control points are a lot harder. They're more dynamic. Missions are relatively predictable. You memorize them, and they become really easy because you memorize them. Even legendary. Obviously, the new ones are still a little bit difficult just because we don't have it all mapped out perfectly as well as we do the other ones you know and so they appear harder but they're really not they just appear harder but it's just that we just don't have as many hours cranked into them as we do the other ones but they're not harder i mean capital building was hard at one point <laughs> you know but once you get the hours in you realize it could be defeated just through the process of memorize memorization and that's what happens in missions I mean, we've, I've played Potomac. I, I mean, obviously, this is a new experience, but I've played Potomac a million times. It's actually one of my favorite missions back in the day because I liked the uh, the part where you meet up with Kelso, kind of like that shooter's alley. And then at the end in the theater, that's kind of a fun fight, too. So I really liked the fight back. I used to play this before they had legendaries. Uh, I used to play this mission a lot. But anyways, but what I was also going to say is that some of the new content, like if you feel like it's easy, um, it kind of is, you know, and Oof, taking damage from too many angles, better heal up, tough angles, let's get that way. it kind of is, but I, the devs are really doing that on purpose, they want to, um, Make the game more inviting to new players, too, not just as veteran farts that have been playing forever. So that's why it'll feel a little bit easier to us, but they didn't want to make it too difficult for the new players. And so you can hear people complaining, but it's going to be the veterans complaining, you know? Like how easy it is. But that's just because they're not taking into consideration with what else is going on in the game, you know? Oh, no, 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 no! Fuck! Oh, Riot Foam. Jesus Christ. I can't believe that just happened. That's my nemesis. It really is. <laughs> Achilles heel is that fucking Riot Foam. 
I should have played it deeper. That was a weird angle. I couldn't get a clean shot on them. They were like two tiers above me. One tier, two tiers. Fuck. It's all right. It went fast. Let's do it again. Uh, bounty. Let's see. Activate. Skip. That's lame. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, they had a high ground on me. Yeah, you relearn. Yeah, you have to relearn. Yeah, you take a break. It does degrade the skill. But it's just like, like I said, anyways, like that's why I don't do missions because missions are really predictable and they become very easy because of that. Nearby hostage situation detected. Um, but the open world even though it's, it's still a little bit predictable but there's still more variables in there you can have elite patrols and careful, agent. oops Phantom has a lot of toys. rogues and all the other fun stuff that happens to you in control points but also their spawns are there's some variation to their spawns too That's how we get stacks. I find you don't really have to do that. I mean, you're fine. But, because we don't have that many stacks, but it's a nice little shortcut. That was me, I would have been on fire, right? Hey, did you guys see the orbit is for sale on countdown? Make sure you pick that up. It's a Dark Zone exclusive little beast that's worth having. I hate this little gulch down here. They love it. I hate it. Cause the fight's really on the other side. Double reload. Go not your head. This is where we were, right? No, one more wave. Yo, 
Fucking A. God damn it. Ah! She's always the one that annoys me. Her and the right from guys. Lot of making me miss by walking sideways. It's that easy, huh? Is it all cutscenes we have to skip, or is it going to be just the last one? You guys know? Are they? Oh, there he is on the ground. That he was camouflaged with all that shit, huh? Why is he walking like that? I want to be up here for the next wave. No, no, no! What the fuck? Oh, horrible! That's the same exact spot! The same exact wave! Oh my lord. What is with that? Maybe I'm playing too aggressive. I guess I should step it back since I don't know what's happening. That is so annoying. All right. Bounty. Activate, skip.
I mean, it obviously gets easier when, um, yeah, you can join, bro. By two game. There you go. Uh, it definitely gets easier as you start to memorize it, right? Because you're like, oh, I know what's going to happen. <laughs> well, everybody's weakness is the huggers. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of good, Craze. You should try to stack up all the bosses. It's kind of fun. What up, Steffi? Another agent is now in your all right, Tuck Sledge in the house. Come on in, Sledge. Let's go kill some fools. Looks like he's running the Kingbreaker. Be careful, agent. Wonder if he's running the Heartbreaker with that too. So scaling um, is is a lot faster to do these things. Um, the slowest is if you go like all the way up to four because the scaling is pretty horrific at that level. But uh, three is just right. So, like, if you're trying to do those league speed runs. Consider that, too. Skill's not going to come, or what? That grenade's gonna land on me. Yeah. I like to watch the grenades because it's such bullshit. Fucking foam again. The double reloads are getting on my nerves. I like playing in twos. It is fun to play in twos. If you go right, let's a little, you can do a little uh, divide and conquer strategy. Watch each other's back. And technically, my catharsis heals will heal him, too, if he gets to uh, take advantage.
You can't be any geek off the street. Gotta be handy with the steel, if you know what I mean. This guy all the way in the back, huh? That's annoying. Out of nowhere. Probably be better off with a decoy. I'm not even using the healing drone. I saw that coming. Damn it. God damn it. Saw that coming. The riot phone with the grenadier. I thought I would take that grenadier out first, but. Uh, I'm bleeding. Oh, Jesus Christ. Maybe it can respawn. Spawn, I guess. Tony Gunk, welcome to Hardcore. Appreciate you, man. I didn't see the alert pop up. Yeah, everybody's got the same issue. You just kind of, I guess you got to do some workarounds. I think I'd be better off with a decoy. Throw it at those um, spawn doors right when they come out. Catch those riot foamers. Got one second here. Let me change that to... Encrypted file detected. Uploading to database for analysis. Yeah, anybody's welcome to jump in, by the way, if you're on Xbox. Uh, if you're already on my roster, just come on in. Game should be open. Where'd he come from? Fuck, I didn't even see him. Just throw a decoy out there. Fucker.
Need that grenadier. Give me that backpack, boy. Fucking two right farmers, of course. Come on, dude. Got hit from the back. There's somebody behind us. Shotgun sniper. Apparently. Come on, get the fuck up, dude. Fuck. Dark Winter. It's a Dark Zone exclusive. Decrypted another drone recording. It's queued up at the castle if you want to hear it. So far, so good, man. What's going on? Haze. What's up, bro? So two down. So we completed Auntie Minor tasks. We took out Chunks and Bantam, and now we're going to go Cursed. So, but look at this. Uh, we got the dark zone. I mean, the dark winter. That's a dark zone exclusive. Did anybody else get it on this mission? Not supposed to get that to drop here. That's so that's kind of weird. Definitely dark zone exclusive. There's no doubts about that. So perfect killer. Weird. Let's get our gear and then we'll do the next one. My sniper finger's itching. I gotta tell you. I'm addicted to sniping. <laughs> I am. Okay, so where's this uh, comms at? It looks like back at this house here. All right. Castle, castle, castle. Right on, Hayes. Can they be anything? Maybe I never really realized that.
You mean manhunt bosses or any boss? We're almost there. We're almost to the glitch. <laughs> We're almost to the glitch. Yep. Appreciate Sledge helping me out here. Thanks, brother. I want to assure you that this is merely a hypothetical question. Okay. Hypothetically, what would happen to a mortar operator if they were to use a launcher that had previously housed a dirty bomb? Too many factors to consider. Exposure time, amount of radioactive material, amount of transfer, what kind of particulate? It wouldn't be instantly fatal? Of course not. We're exposed to radiation every day. By the time you're showing symptoms of radiation poisoning, it's generally too late. Thank you, Chunks. Why are you asking? No reason. I just like to be prepared for all scenarios. If you're worried about exposure at the plant, you should start taking iodine to protect your thyroid. That's very useful information. Also, I guess we should start looking at iodine just in case. All right, target chunks. Right on, Grumpy. Thanks for hanging, man. Appreciate you, bro. Catch you in a little bit. All right, give me one second, Sledge, then we'll go. I'm just gonna dunk this real quick. Dunk a chino. Dunk, dunk a chino, chino. Stats like skill he's head under no 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 right on sledge I'll get a setup all right and then bounty Let's look at the man at where's he supposed to be at uh title basin okay so then bounty nope yep got a 20 on mort cursed kellogg He's at wayne what's up wayne You think I'm still good with the obliterate chest or should I try the other one? We could try the other one just for trying it too. How are things in Ohio, Wayne? Okay, so I'm gonna um, change just to just to try something different here. So we'll uh, put on. Be careful, agent. He could be anywhere. Um, the other chess piece and see how it plays out. So our crit chance is at thirty-eight ninety-two. Um, it's about right. Not much we can do about it. I'd like it to be like forty-five ninety-two would be perfect. You know, but I, I have no crit mods on my weapon, so that's hurting us. That's what kind of sucks about the F2000 is that sometimes you rather have the mod, you know, so you can do things like crit chance or whatever. I mean, damage rise Optimus still makes more sense if you're like looking at it from a damage perspective. But I'm just saying as an example. All right. Sledge is in the house. All right, Sledge is rock. Okay, so otherwise everything's the same. I just put on a very powerful chest piece. Um, let's actually start by stacking here.
Ooh. Fuck that hurt. Look at that shit, huh? It's not gonna heal me up or what? because apparently it's not going to heal me. Good job taking out that medic sledge. He needed to go. Somebody back here? The fuck. Looks like it, but it's not. Wait for me, Sledge, wait for me. Tuck slow. Tuck's real slow. <laughs> My character is needs to be on a diet, that's why. He's got some sluggish issues. He's a sluggish, ruggish bone. Ooh. Tank. That's why we ran a chest piece. Great sustainable damage on those tanky targets. to God. What up? Welcome, welcome. Also, the for scaling up, the chest piece is nice too, right? Because the enemies are going to get tankier. So we put on the new chest piece, which is more damage ultimately. Bro. Got here. I'm gonna jump down. Really? Really? 
<laughs> Did you see that grenade? It like ricocheted off of something and got me. Pretty incredible. I gotta say. Where are these fools? There they are. Chunga? I hear somebody heavy. Yeah. Good job, boys. Get that gear real quick. Never leave gear behind! Turn that music back on, too. Boys. Come here, you fucker. God damn, you're hard to kill. Here, kitty, kitty. I swear I took that dog out. I mean, I uh, jammed him. Shield definitely breaks a little faster in group play, uh, scaled up because of the damage.
drone detected. Bellstone's good gear to be in here. Appreciating that. Yeah, this is the build we finalized yesterday. It's the stovepipe build. Kind of a fantasy build based on what we think stovepipe would be like or would be wearing. Uh, and, you know, so we went with the, kind of like a boss configuration, which is high damage, high armor. And so, as you can see here, I'm running 1.8 million in armor. And we're hitting over 1.1 million, give or take. When we're at full stacks. Very fun build. And so we got a couple of uh, versions, one with obliterate on the chest and then one with um, focus. And I'm running focus on this one. So it's a quick peek at it again. I'll show it again, of course. Looks like there's people behind us and that's annoying. Get rid of that tank perched up there, huh? Crow's nest tank. Oh, you see that guy spawn out of midair? You see that shit? He spawned out of nowhere. I'm literally looking at the spot he spawned in. Oh, my characters are acting weird. Oh my god, my gun is shooting automatically. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. What's going on? <laughs> Literally, I don't know what's happening. That's that's not me shooting. My character's gone rogue. I mean, now I am. But for a second there, he was doing his own thing. Grenade. Let's take a name. God damn, I didn't get. He's got special ammo. Uh, 
Uh, they were all like protected. Oh, get out of the fire. I don't know how I escaped that fire, but that was amazing. Maybe my mask? Was it giving me hazard protection? Is he about to pulse me? Good job, boys. He was pretty tanky, actually. I was wailing on that backpack and it wasn't even cracking it. I mean, we look at our ammo. <laughs> Good job. It's not very accurate. No, it's not. It's uh, it's a little wild beast, and we got the we got some handling on it too. <laughs> and so, I mean, if you think about it, we're running striker that gives us handling, and then I'm running um, twenty percent stability mod. And so, yeah, it, there's there's easier weapons to handle, which is why it's not normally my favorite. Well, it's not my favorite at all. <laughs> not normally. Not always. It's not my favorite. It's a good weapon, though. It's not a bad weapon. It's actually a good weapon. It's just that you probably like another one over it. So one more and then I, I we're too anti we're too anti now just got to do the computer thing all right computer thing <laughs> Negative flex. Did you just join the dark side? <laughs> One piece hot shot and ninja bike. Yeah, that build I was running earlier today was actually really fun. I'm surprised how fun it is. I mean, the one where I'm running 45% armor on kill is pretty effective. It kind of gives you the defense capability of uh, the memento without running the memento, keeping it all season 11 with that ninja bike. I would like one piece of hot shot if I could. I mean, I should sacrifice a little armor on kill for that. Reality is, but what's up, double mics? I didn't see you squeeze in. Okay, let's get this. This is one, and then we're gonna go. What? Powder shower, huh? Okay, uh, so what's the next zone gonna be? She, I think she's West End, right? So, Bounty, yeah. Roosevelt Island, cool. Beatrice Anti Kaplan is on Roosevelt Island.
Yeah, that's weird, sleeper. It might be really busy today, too. You know what I mean? All right, uh, let's see. We're waiting for one, I think. Uh, I'll keep the same build. I liked it. Oh, it worked out good. With the tech, with the tech here, it's a little. Oh wait, this is true sons though, isn't it? Auntie may be a former true son, but she is ruthless and unhinged. Uh, yeah, I'll keep it on. I'll keep it on. Let's see what uh, he's running. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. The Heartbreaker Hybrid. Yeah, that's a good one. Very fun. It's been a long time since I've run. I don't think I've run it since. Since we created it. Who's shooting me? Oh, up there. She's not coming out. But she can still shoot me. That's fucking bullshit. She was hitting me with her blind fire. An annoying sniper. I feel like Sledge knows what he's doing. He must have done this before. He seems to be at the ready, huh? Must have already played it this morning. We just got good intuition. Yeah, I like the Juggernaut builds too. I like the Juggernaut builds too because it's sort of like in a lot of the gameplay, it's just like you have so much damage. Like, why not? I can't even think of an answer. <laughs> you know? stacks off of that see he's already ready he knows he knows this guy <laughs> he's like yep these guys are fucking tanky the tower
got this. <laughs> teacher? I don't know. I'd be a bad teacher. I think I would actually be a bad teacher. <laughs> like in real life, I don't think I'd be a good teacher. I kind of uh, like video games are nice uh, because my way of teaching is kind of uh, show by example. Kind of show, don't tell. I mean, obviously I'm telling because I do a lot of damn talking, but I'm also demonstrating too, and that really helps. Get my point across. That's the decoy right there. Throw that out. Keep him busy. You gotta watch that rifle, man. That shit'll get you. Yeah, it'll probably be bugged all day. I'm sure they won't get a fix. It will be lucky if we get one tonight. But we'll, we'll, we'll hopefully work it out. I just, it's mostly about the timing, right? Like, do we skip the cutscene? Uh, can we skip it immediately, or do we have to wait for to see Kelso? You know, Rose just skip the last cutscene. All right, Antika. Some strong ass drones, huh? Take a mag to get through it. Oh, my decoy just bounced. I do like this one better. Because these guys are pretty tanky. So that chest piece is helping. They are not shy on the armor. No, no, no. I don't want special ammo. Not a big fan of special ammo, you know? Obviously, it's it's helpful, but I don't know. Okay, thanks, man. During the cutscene.
The accuracy of that turret back there. I mean, it's really far away. That purple turret in the back, it's very far away. And it's at an angle and I'm behind cover, you know? It's all a little bit of bullshit. I hate they don't give us ammo here. Come on, Where am I? Here we go. We're rocking now. Let's get it. Let's 
got to be close, huh? They usually don't make you go all the way to the back. This is probably her. Where's that big boy? Up here and play, man. Fucking hiding in the back and shit. They're fast. Cool. There it is. Oh, use a six tiers one. Good for you, man. That looks fun. I was tempted. I was tempted to do that too. All right, stove five next. So this is where we're gonna have to do the cutscene. So I think it's just the last cutscene, right? Skip the final cutscene. All right, got it. Skip the final cutscene. Got it. Thanks, guys. Let's get our loot. Who wants to play it again? Nobody. Well, <laughs> maybe later just to do something different, but... Back to the computer. And the jammer, okay. I'm using the stovepipe build with the shield splinter. -er because he uses uh, the F-2000, so. Something up, so yeah, I think the rumors are true. Shit, don't 
worry about St. Louis. Worry about Fairview. Why? <laughs> You've seen the way they handled the nuclear waste. No. No, no. They would have told us. <laughs> Brother, I think your helmet's on too tight. Ever since we lost Major Castillo, that place has gone to shit. I get why you had to take him out. That man's grief drove him to some really dark places. All right, let's go get ourselves a chess piece. So, um, Coney Island ballpark. All right. Is it all at Coney Island, or is it some of it at the White House? Zoes23, appreciate the sub with your prime, man. Thank you. Yeah, I have. Yeah. The, the, the bio container thing. Yeah. I know what you mean. Okay, here we go. All right, cool. So same loadout here. Clear some of this stuff before we get in there. It looks like we got our XP back, though, huh? I've been noticing that my stash has been filling up pretty fast. The, uh, with caches. <laughs> I know. Yeah, spoiler alert. We're about to get into the... The Coney Island phase. You finished it already. Good job, Anna. So I don't know if he's back yet. Do we play it on more normal or do I have to change it? No, I can change it to heroic, right? It gets a little crazy in there. All right, looks like he's ready to go. Let's do it. Stovepipe seems done with the black tusk. If we can bring him in, we can stop the attack on New York. And not gonna lie, he would be an incredible asset. Should I put on a jammer, I guess? I've got eyes on Stovepipe. Looks like he's repairing one of the launchers on the beach. And then, uh, Skies. All right. Just got eyes on Stovey. The first fight was easy, all right. Yeah. 
doesn't make any sense. You don't send one guy to take Manhattan. The road's clear. You're free to head west past the roller coaster. Coney Island's got a good map design. I like it. But he's not shooting. Stovepipe is at a mortar launcher on the south shore. Be careful. This doesn't feel right. Yeah, no, it doesn't. <laughs> okay. There's some electrocution things. It's... Serpentine! Serpentine! Stovepipe's got horrible nearsighted vision. If you serpentine, he won't see you. Find ourselves some stovey. He's dead. Electronic device detected. The hell? Inventory assessment complete. How are we looking on mortars? Even with the two new teams, we have more than enough to maintain control of the shipping lanes. That's very good. Let me know if we need to pull in additional resources. Will do. But honestly. This feels like overkill to secure the river. Better to overkill than be killed. <laughs> Funny. You need anything else from me? Not at this time, Stovepipe. Can't you just call me Zach? Wouldn't be professional, Stovepipe. I hate that nickname. Most people hate their nicknames. You didn't make faith in... Oh, you're because of marauders, huh? Special. All right. Better heal up. Fucking grenade. Explosion thingy. Better kick that out. This is a good uh, for focus right here. It's chest piece. almost down.
Bora. Some ammo. There it is. I like running on the beach. Like, is it me or like heroic open world marauders harder? <laughs> Can't see shit. System System Can we take out that pulse, I wonder? Because that's annoying. I feel like a scary clown's gonna come out. System disrupted. What the fuck? I'm blind. System reactivated. System Gotta find that fucking pulse. Where is it? Is it upstairs? Oh yeah, it is. There it is. System. Post here. Guess this way. Agent, you have to take out those turrets. 
Taurus can't approach for extraction until you get those turrets offline. System reactivated. System malfunctioning. Are they shooting through the... System oh, I see. Where's this go? Maybe over there? System I'll go by him. Where's this pulse? Where's this pulse, huh? Oh, there it is. We found it. Good job. System it's pretty confusing in there. System back online. System functioning. System restored. Can't find his pulse. Where is that fucking thing? I think I see it back here somewhere. Fucking drones suck, huh? Can't get that pulse off. Oh, I see. You follow these cables. That's how you must be finding them. All right. I see a cable over here. Can't go in there, though. That's it, though. Fucking little drones are annoying, huh? I'm gonna be annoyed when I find that pulse. I need to find this pulse. There it is, it's right fucking there. <laughs> it was right fucking there. Alright. Next, I'd recommend going for that first. I mean, shit. It would have been a lot easier without that pulse. Ooh, look at that bad boy. You think decoy or jammer? I feel like decoy on this guy. Hold on. Good for those legs, huh? Get that health damage. You can't see shit in here, though. 
Fuck, you cannot see. I feel like he got me down here. Come here, little fucker. Apparently, I'm out of fucking medkits. When did that happen? Better stay on my heels. Just bail. <laughs> Come back here, boy. Rogue striker drone detected. Hostile striker drone detected. Fucking heels, huh? There's no time to celebrate. We need you back in DC. We're under attack. Holy. Call for extraction. Got it. Some ammo somewhere. There it is. There we go. That wasn't bad. That was pretty cool. It was different. So we got our chest piece. All right. I don't understand why we haven't where the glitch is. Is it the next phase? Hey, agent. Thank you for saving my ass last night. We need to bring you up to speed on Anderson and Sokolova's new alliance. Go ahead, Fred. General Anderson's true sons are embedded with the Black Tusk and have been helping Did we already see this? increase your fleet of hovercrafts in DC. After Coney Island, I'm concerned about potential mortar strikes. First up, Charles Trunks Crawford. Okay, this is we've already seen this. Okay. Sorry. It's not tell me where to go. Am I missing something? Is it over here? Yeah, okay. There it is. Sorry about that. Okay, we got to skip at the Kelso. Got it.
I want to put on my chest piece first, though. I feel like we can be a better fighter. We'll be a better fighter with that skin. Okay, it's the next part at the end. Gotcha. Is this the cutscene here, or I got to talk to somebody first? Next phase, okay. After the wheelchair, okay. Loading up here. Did I lose my homie? The range is limited, so stay close. Did I lose him? I might have to add him back in. Um, chat. I lost him on accident. Nope. Not on, maybe he lost him. This part has to be solo. Oh, shit. to be solo got it so um do i need to change anything probably a pulse i imagine i think we get a razor back thing going on here right something like that all right after the wheelchair here we go stovepipe was a fucking distraction sokolova waited until you were off site to take down the network i'm going ahead I don't know how much range this thing has, so keep up. It was that easy, huh? Agent, we can't lose the White House. They took over the White House. All I had to do was go to Coney Island. It was that easy. Copy that. Look alive. Agent's incoming. Skills active. Countermeasure is still active. 
crush, crush, crush. Yeah, the Warhound with the flamethrower. Um, I don't know about rigor. I know there's the one where if you're by the hive, the technicians got that disruption prevention. I think it's got to be by a hive though, right? I can't see shit. Are the weak points on the other side? Oh, I see him. Fuck, my shield was down. I thought it was up. Fuck. thought my shield was up. That's sometimes a problem with being in a scope. Shit, am I going to have to do that whole thing over again? I think I am, right? I mean, it was just not that long, but still. Can't jump over that, it's so annoying. Damn, come on. Yeah, it would be more fun as a team right here. This is the part you want to play as a team, the end. You know? Okay, so we've got a layout here. Guys are coming from behind us. So. Weak points detected. Am I hitting the weak points? I can't fucking. Oh, there they are. Are they the yellow things up there? 
What are we looking at here? Like, there's little things that you don't know yet. Like, are the are the NPCs infinite? Like, if you don't... If you try to kill all the NPCs first... Is that a bad strategy? Son of a bitch. Oh, I just fell. Okay, let's see if I can see these fucking weak points. Is it the, the other side, maybe? I don't know what I'm looking at. Yeah, there they are. All right. Better. Weak points detected. Did I already get him? Hack the Razorback power terminal. Got it. Oops, what a throw. Fuck her. My fucking shield. Okay, more weak points. Looks like we got the sides now. Can we fight from out there, by the way? Probably can. Alright. Let's do the left one first. Wait. It's wrong side. Damn you, Tux! She said, after the wheelchair, after the wheelchair. I think this is probably the wheelchair. Don't skip. Okay. Don't skip. All clear. Eliminate. Copy that. Sit 
status report. Main squad leader. God damn it. Kelso's hot. Agent, <laughs> execute. Yeah, people are saying don't skip because they uh, will miss the the replay. So I'll have to play it again. It's not a problem. It was pretty fast. We need to get Schaefer settled and secure. He was the target. What happened to the network? Black Toss used some tech to exploit the defenses. Yeah, who am I? I've heard someone say the countermeasures worked perfectly. Whatever Black Tusk did, they did it remotely and they shut down the entire network. Okay. Give me a hand. Three. Two, one. Can we still use our tech? As long as we have a mobile shade server. It's limited range and air gapped. They'd have to upload directly onto the server to disable it. Okay, down. We need to figure out how much of the network went down. If it was a local or global attack. But we have the servers. We should be okay, right? Well, it's a tourniquet when someone's blown your leg off. I'll get the defenses back online. I'll take care of Sleeping Beauty. Servers connected. Perimeter defenses back online. Okay. Isaac? I'll check in with New York, make sure they're still up. If Black Tusk could take out the global network remotely, we're finished. I need to talk to Roy. Hope you're worth it, Schaefer. Was Schaefer worth it? What are we getting here? Objective failed because I didn't skip, right? But that was the end, wasn't it? The White House is a mess. I'm assuming the White House resets, <laughs> right? Like, we don't keep it like this. I do like it like this, though, I got to say. Yeah, it does. Okay. I think that's what's happening here. That was the end. Okay, cool. I didn't miss anything. I mean, is there a point in completing it? Because we got the chest piece. Isn't that all we want? Uh, or is it just the little backpack trophy that I'm missing? I mean, I could just play it again when, um, I, mean, I don't mind doing it again. Okay, I get it. I get what you're saying. Let's put on, uh, that chest piece though, skin. The range is limited, so stay close. Should be here, right? Stove pipe. Huh, should be at the top. Is it bugged? The chest is bugged? We're not getting it? Or is it in the S's at the very bottom? Yeah, I don't see it. That's lame. Yeah, fuck these guys. God damn it. What am I dying from? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> what's happening right there? Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's try this again. All right, let's get out there. Apparently, if you stand here too long, there's always somebody here. What's up with that? I don't want to fight these guys. I want to get through the shit. Leave me alone. It's there to use my ammo. Okay, so this time we'll skip that cutscene, make sure it works, and that would be your fixed. 
Sounds like it is. There's enough people who are relying on it. I'm going ahead. I I'll skip all the cutscenes I can, though. Agent, we can't lose the White House. They're still shooting me from back there. I just took that bullet from like a mile away. A lot easier when you know what to expect right on the razorback thing go a lot faster next round because you don't know like remember the anderson manhunt like i remember the first time i went in there and it was just like okay let's kill all the the guys we'll take care of the tasks and then the guys never stopped coming right like they never stopped coming and we were fighting way out the way it was fun though i was like i I've always wished we kind of had that mode, just uh, infinite waves, hold it down kind of thing. Like, uh, remember Call of Duty, the old Call of Duty, how it started out like that? You started out, like, I think on the beach, something like that, right? I don't remember. But there's just waves of waves of enemies coming at you. You open up with, like, 100 kills. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, dude, I don't want to do this all day. Hundred kills in your first fifteen minutes in the game. I mean, that's fun. That's what I want. Okay, so here we're gonna do. It's I'm gonna skip every cutscene that it'll allow me to. The shield's helpful. There's a lot of cover too though. Um, so you could also do like a decoy combo in here. That would go very well. Razorback detected. Weak points detected. So yeah, it's definitely acceptable to take the enemies out first and find them. God damn it. Immediate medical assistance needed. Shitty cover, huh? You gotta get rid of those drones, they peck at you like that. Probably be better off here with obliterate too, by the way. Which I'm not wearing. Uh, because these guys aren't so bad, you don't need all that tankiness. I'm killing these things in one mag, basically. The weak points. So you could probably go obliterate. Yeah, obliterate would have done that right there. Because obliterate is going to be a little bit more upfront damage. There's another drone, but...
Uh, heal up from this. God, I hate that my pulse isn't strong enough to kill those all the way. That's annoying. I'm used to like walking away after you do that. If I had a skill tier, it probably would be. Skip everything that I can. I'm trying to skip. All clear. Right after that, thank you. Get safe to the panic room. I'll hold them off as long as I can. Thank you, friend. Who knows? Maybe we'll be eating your famous ceviche and taking the best tour of mine. The castle has Ooh, ceviche. There it is. Thanks, guys. Let's keep coming surely. <laughs> you guys were on it! It said failed! Oh, what? I hit it! Do I need to change the whole settings thing? That's annoying. Do I need to go uh, change my, you know, from heroic to, you know, map settings or whatever? Difficulty? Probably need to do that. That's cool. I get to change the chess piece. Uh, I should go a little bit faster with the obliterate. Yeah, good point. Set difficulty to normal and just buzz through it. Yeah, where do you change it at though, huh? The range is limited, so stay close. Um change global difficulty to normal. Confirm settings can will this work? Appreciate you, Guyver Z. Let's see if this works. It would be really cool to have to like rebuild the White House again, like a rebuild, and you make it better and stronger, <laughs> you know? Some missile launchers on the roof. Hang some bodies at the gates. That's what I would do. I mean, I would, I would hang bodies all around the gates. My fence would be like dead hyenas. 
<laughs> just kind of like lining the, the property. Yeah, it's possible to get all the drops today. Yeah, uh, as long as you have your your account all connected like you like you should, um, all drops would be active today. Are active right now. Yeah, and it goes till the 15th, the drops. Yeah, or stand there and fight off hordes. That I love that kind of gameplay. I know it's kind of monotonous and kind of old school, but it's fun, you know? How many waves can you take on? So I think a better build for this would be the Obliterate one. If you're going to run the stove, the stovepipe build, which I recommend. Very fun. So go Obliterate with Cheska and then just make sure you're... Yeah, we look good there. About 44.105. That's fine. Um... 44, 105. Yeah, that's good. Um, just delete a couple things here real quick and we'll go do it. On normal mode now. All right, so we change it to normal mode. Let's see if that did it. And we'll go a lot faster because they'll be easier to kill. Yeah, like COD's old zombie mode. I like that. That was fun. You know? I mean, not as a main game mode, but as like an additional thing to do. I mean, I would like that more than Descent, to be honest with you. <laughs> Just like hold down the White House and, you know, there's like a turret. You can get on a turret. Maybe you can man some mortars. And then otherwise you got your builds and you just how many waves can you keep off your back? I think I'm going to need a shield. Still pretty tanky. I haven't played on normal mode in a long time. Still kind of tanky. Just shotgun only. <laughs> only shotgun mode. Pistols only. Shit, it's fun. It's more fun to play on normal mode. Maybe I'm a normal mode guy. <laughs> I mean, that's how you want to kind of be. You want to kind of be, you know, strong, fun. You know, you should be beastly mode. Other games are like that, right? Other games, you're like a beast, right? You go in, you do, like, that's the whole point. You get your character to be a beast. And we have those builds too. But it's sort of sometimes. But, um, you know what I mean? You go in and... Like, isn't Outriders kind of like that? You go in there and you're kind of like on beast mode. Razorback detected. Weak points detected. Go right for the weak points here. So now we're running Obliterate, so it really should. I mean, I know we're on normal mode. Oh, fuck, I didn't see this guy. <laughs> but, yeah, I think this would all go a little bit faster with the... Um, even the Hollow Man mask. He really wanted to get into it. Jesus Christ. I'm not paying attention to what I'm supposed to be doing. I forgot about the weak point up there. Jesus Christ, huh? Weak 
Checkpoints detected. Perimeter secure. Agent, meet me inside. We need to secure the site. Come on, skip scene. Challenging and heroic are really close to the same. More than you think. If you pay attention to challenging and heroic, it's just a quantity of elites. That's the only thing that changes. The health pool is like close enough to where it might as well be the same. That's why your time to kill doesn't exactly get a whole lot better in challenging. But yeah, less elites is always better. Echo detected. We try not to talk about Outriders. All right, sorry, James. <laughs> Didn't mean to hit that nerve. Too bad, ow. Games, what's up, man? Yeah, in game, it's the stash. That's right. I'm sure somebody got to you there. Matt Strider. Yeah, and four man heroic and legendary are basically the same too. Four man heroic is about the same as legendary. Look at the damage numbers. It's not much scaling. All right, looks like it worked there, hopefully. I was going to say, like, for good measure, you should probably... What? It didn't. Objective failed again. What the hell? I mean, you got to flip it back. You got to change and then change. <laughs> That's frustrating. Um, I can't get a hold of Manny or Fred. Wally's mobile shade server is the only reason my skills and comms still work. The range is limited, so stay close. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to change the map twice. So, uh, go to the... Change global, no, change global difficulty. So we're going to put on a heroic. And then we're going to go back to normal mode. Yeah, they're working on a patch for this bug, but. Maybe I need to wait a little bit longer. So after the wheelchair, like you said. I can do the map thing just for good measure here real quick. Yeah, I mean, this mission should have been done a long time ago, right? Like... <laughs> It really should have. I mean, it was done a long time ago. Remember, because we had delays on this. You did without skipping? Oh, of course it worked for you. What, um, why, why are you on uh, the PC or what do you play on? I want to do a normal so we can go through it fast.
like right after you see the when she's walking with the female that's when she sees that's when you have the wheelchair right you're on xbox yeah so am i i'm on xbox too soul killer what up man what's up soul <laughs> not getting any fabulous xp for replaying it i know though i know what you mean I'm just doing this for good measure, but. I just want the chess piece talent so I could sport it and look really cool. Yeah, that loading screen right there is annoying too. I can't get a hold of Manny or Fred. Wally's mobile shade server is the only reason my skills and comms still work. The rain I mean, some people say they they do this the whole way, right? <laughs> Some people do this the whole way. That's crazy. Stovepipe was a fucking distraction. Sokolova waited until just walk. Site to take down the network. Oh, I can't I'm just ahead. walk. I don't know how much range this thing has, so keep up. I mean, is this walking? No, that's running. That's a slow jog. Walk and talk. So, welcome to another live stream, everybody. Yeah. So, I was talking to my aunt the other day, and she said she had a horrible case of itchy butt. And so, she put on some baby powder, and I'm telling you this because it's very related to the Division 2. And, you know, plus my guy looks really cool walking slow from behind. And I don't know. I guess I'm just buying more time so that, uh, you know, I can get more views on YouTube, maybe some more money. And so I walk really slow because you want to see what the real content is. And, you know, if I waste the first 10 minutes just talking then maybe i can maybe i can fool you into sticking around for the actual content i don't know but uh, yeah so you know one of the things i love about this game is the environment and you know i don't know i don't know what do you guys think okay let's get into it Can you imagine if every one of my streams and videos started out like that? Come on, man. Reload. Horrible job reloading. Wait, should I be walking? Should be walking, huh? No running. <laughs> no running. You'll break the game if you run. All right. Rocking slow. <laughs> What's your best walking build? Yeah, that's a good question. What would be the best walking build like this? I mean, it'd probably be a tank. Probably Foundry Bulwark, actually. No joke. Or a, a Heartbreaker, maybe. But Foundry, because of its healing, and when you pair it up 
with the catharsis mask like we're doing the slower you go the better that way you can catch all those extra heals Okay, slow walking. I mean, that is just breathtaking. But yeah, the, uh, you know, that tank build. Today on Tuck Streams, we are taking a walk in the park. Just getting a little nature. We're touching grass. <laughs> touching grass. That's a funny insult, right? In gaming. Touch grass, dude. <laughs> yeah, the flowers are out. It's, it's always springtime. It's actually always, I guess, late winter, right? Around here. Because it's supposed to be right after Christmas. I wish we had some new costumes that were like kind of just fun. Like, why don't we have a clown costume? You know? We need a good clown costume for sure. I guess we can just walk in this little... Cool area. I'm afraid to run. I'm gonna backtrack everything that we just did. Walking slow. Fast travel after skipping, really? Fast travel to where? The castle? And then I'll wait till the wheelchair to skip this time? Okay, so I'll wait for the wheelchair, then I'll skip, and then I'll fast travel. And then we've done it all. We changed our map, we walked slow. <laughs> Skip as soon as Kelso appears. Okay. Because I can't skip right here. But gotcha. And then fast travel to the castle. Status 
report. Main squad leader. God damn it. Agent, execute. Skipping. Agent. Okay, trying to fast travel, but I can't see anything. I've recovered another hunter drone. There we go. Manny, I'm sorry. Looks like we got it, huh? Captured one of our Yeah, who knows what really worked because we did it all, right? So, I mean, I would just suggest if it's your first time through, just do it all. You know what I mean? Walk slow, change your map, skip the cutscene, you know what I mean? Just do it all. It's really not worth playing on Heroic. I didn't see... It wasn't that challenging, like, oh, you know, oh, you know, your balls aren't big enough if you play it on Heroic. It's just not. Play it on normal mode, fuck it. Later, James. Appreciate you, man. Have an eye for talent. First Schaefer, then Lewis, and Wally. Imagine my surprise when I discovered you even managed to recruit Vic. I thought you hated him after what happened at Odea. But here you are, welcoming old enemies into your house and giving them the literal keys to the castle. I haven't decided if you're a genius with boundless empathy or a moron who actually believes that people can change. People don't change. Most of the time, if you think someone has changed, it's because you never really saw them. You never look close enough to see if the person staring back at you is genuine or is hiding their true intentions. That's why you're so easy to fool and why I will always be two steps ahead of you. <laughs> Hit a bong pipe, a stove pipe. And the hunters at my disposal. Funny. Mission complete. We saw this screen earlier, though. Isn't that weird? When we beat Coney Island, this screen came up and it said we got the reward collected. Uh, obviously, we didn't beat the Razorback, but. All right, so cool. Let's see if we. Have it in our mailbox, or what's the deal? I don't see it in the mailbox. Yeah, no deliveries. Special deliveries, no, no. Um, let's see if it's in peril. Be, no, it would be here. There we go. There it is. Cool. 
Let's take a close look at it. Um, oh, the light in here sucks. I should let me go back up out of the rain. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like. I mean, it's all about the gun belt. Everything else is kind of, kind of simple. Yeah, I like that gun belt. I feel like it goes with the, uh, the gunner backpack really well, huh? Like the way it looks like it locks right into it. Let's put that build on. So very fun that we did this build. Love that. And then let's uh, let me put this other one on real quick. This one had the. Uh, that backpack on. Nope, I guess not. All right, it's all good. Yeah, cool. So, um, yeah, anyways, going back to what we were saying, like, I think that that very last phase, the White House phase, just run it on the easiest mode. I don't see the point in really running on heroic. I mean, there's only like 10 enemies, you know? It didn't re even really make a difference, actually, going to normal mode. But, you know, it shaves a couple of minutes, and that was worth it, you know, in case you goof or something. But, yeah, just burn through that. It's more about the story, catching, you know, whatever story mode, and then um, getting your completion at that phase. You already did all the fighting. All the fighting's out of your ways. That's more of, like, hey, this is cool kind of thing. You know, that's all that is. Hey, it's like, it's like, it's like the raid, you know, that's, that's all that is. That's more like a nostalgia mechanic reminding you of like Liberty Island and the raid. But otherwise I don't, I don't really think it's a real fight. It's just not a real fight right there. The real fight was Coney Island, right? I think most people get that. And so I think that's why people, some people have been disappointed because they're like, oh, that was like, there was nothing. Yeah, because the real fight was Coney Island. The real fight wasn't there at the White House. You know, that was just all, that's just walk, going through the motions, I guess is another way to say it, you know? To get the story out. Makes you feel like they were giving you a task to take over the White House and back, right? Take back the White House and that's what they decided to do to, to do it, which was the Razorback. Let me see what the White House looks like. It's probably all fixed because it did revert. While we were standing there, you know, so I imagine it'd be an earlier uh, trials. Looks a little different. It is hanging around, huh? You think it's gonna be here forever? It does look different. I mean, that's cool. I hope it stays here forever. Well, you think that's a glitch too? To replace the helicopter? Cause we got two helicopters, right? We got that's better than a helicopter there, I think. And then you have this helicopter up here. Um, I mean that would be neat if it stayed, actually. Be neat if we could use it. Um, here's the uh, pistol. You should get this orbit if you don't have one. Dark Zone exclusive, and it's got perfect finisher for more crits. Very good little pistol. Ooh, and good Fox's prayers. It might be better than what I have. Test subject. Huh. 
Huh. Well, let's change the map and see if that changes the, um, oops. The look of that. Yeah, they're not going to get their deposit back. It's a hologram razor black razor back. It's a blow up toy like they did in World War II. <laughs> oh yeah, it's gone. It's well, no, it's still there. It's just destroyed now. Or something. I mean, is that its resting position or is it destroyed? I mean, it should be destroyed because we blew it up. It looks like it's just resting. Can I climb it? It'd be cool if I can climb it and take a selfie up there. Yeah, I like this though. I mean, I like this better. More interesting looking. This is all kind of boring. Little area. I mean, it's not like wow, but it's definitely better. Better little look. We were way too organized here. Yeah, the little shack, the helipad, yeah. Think they're gonna reuse that? Well, we'll see, yeah, I would like a bigger base of operations. That would be cool, man. I don't know what we do there, but It'd be cool. Okay, let's see what the map looks like. So, ooh, uh, Bellstone in the house. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, so, I was thinking about this build, and, like, ideally, uh, one piece of hot shots would might take this to the next level. Uh, not for the damage, but for the handling. Uh, but this build was really fun to use. And so I'm thinking about, uh, I don't know. Taking away 10%. So we got 10, 20, 30, 45% armor on kill. I mean, I don't really need more handling, but it would be just a nice little thing to have. So I'm thinking about like dropping it down 10% uh, armor on kill and then getting more handling out of it. 30%, right? And then that gets us to a nice fat 51% handling here. And then our uh, stability is up at uh, 153. Is that the one we're running? Yeah. So let's try this version and see what we think. All right, I'll be right back.
so i'm back so yeah you know let's talk about that customer experience that user experience a little bit so you know like for me like if you want in my honest opinion like i'm i'm pretty tolerable i can manage i can handle a little bit of bugs from time to time or you know in any game it happens right but uh the world isn't perfect and so I, I mean i can accept that but i just feel like um do we have to get a bug bugs on like every release <laughs> you know what i mean like with the division it's like every release you know like come on um that's the part that you that kind of gets to me in a division is just like god every again another one like every release you know it's like oh i don't expect things to be perfect but that's like the main point of today <laughs> you know what i mean it's like really and it's just like and it, for it to be kind of bugged is kind of an, it's it's pretty annoying you know but I mean, you know, you know, they know, we know what has to be done. They're not idiots. <laughs> they know what has to be done. They need QA testing before release. They need to, uh, you know, they got testing servers for that, right? They need to test it there for releasing. And they might be using old versions or something. I don't know, but of the code and that's why it's not coming out as intended in, in final release but i don't know but it's sort of a basic right it's just like it's a basic thing you need that game to be as bug free as, as possible Come on. There it is. I've got your back. Some serious moves he pulled out. Um, you know, so, I mean... But what do you say, right? Just... They need to do a better job. I mean, that's just... That's just it's, it just comes down to that. It's... Not much else to say. We know what the problem is, you know. They need they need a better this and better that on the testing side, and I mean just protocols put in place, best practices. We don't really need to be the ones to define it, you know. Uh, they already know what it is, and so it's just a matter of you know figuring out who's dropping the ball or whatever. It's just a matter of resolving it, I guess, is my point, you know? I mean, we don't need to tell them what to do. There's best practices out there. You know what I mean? Like, we don't need to. That's, like, they need to test more. I mean, they know. It's obvious. I mean, that's, that's the, there's a standard for development. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, there's a lack of protocol or resources or both and they need to get that they need to get that in place it's just gone it's just too long you know it's just too long that this has been happening this is like wow again another one on the whole point of the season you know whole point of the season was the manhunt right if you think about it you know it's the uh climax and then to have a bug like that annoying at the climax we have to play it three times I mean, I guess from a perspective of like, I guess if we're putting more hours into the game, they're winning. <laughs> if you look at it that way. Okay. I 
I mean, I really don't. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I really don't have much to say about it because everybody knows what needs to happen. You know, they know what needs to happen. That's all I can say is, is like, it just needs to happen. It's just, it, it's time, you know, S straighten that stuff out. Uh, and we need to have a smooth year five, you know, we're there. It's just, we've held in. We're doing our part of the job. Playing the game. We got some long timers around here, you know. I, mean, I do like the 511 one version of this build because of the it brings a little bit more uniqueness. The other thing to do would be to add the Murakamis, actually. And get the more duration for our decoy and a regen to pair up with Bellstone. So we get both regen and armor on kill. Because regen, uh, when you're pinned down and stuff like that, it can be really helpful. By handling, you know? I mean, shit. We could easily take all of our uh, weapon handling. P I mean, I'd need new pieces, but everywhere that says weapon handling, we can change that to regen and just roll with the one piece of um, hot shot. We're staying up. So I don't feel like we're losing anything. But I'm just, but you know, I want to make them uh, as well rounded as it could be for all types of players and skill levels. But if you're playing from cover, the reality is you don't need this much armor on kill. I mean, it's more setting it up for people that are ready to get out of cover. <laughs> sort of. Or playing tight. Not necessarily get out of cover, but playing real inside. Supply room access unlocked. So we did it all, Mimoli. We did it all. <laughs> we reset our map so the difficulty. So we went from heroic to normal to heroic back to normal. Just we did an extra step doing that. Just to be sure, you might as well. It only takes a couple of minutes. Then we walked to each objective. So we just walked to each objective. We did no running unless we were in a fight and then only ran inside fights. And then walked to each objective. And then uh, when you see basically uh, Kelso after the, what do you call it? the echo after the echo cutscene, you'll see kelso and you skip right then and then we fast traveled uh, after we skipped we fast traveled to the castle right away <laughs> so we th that was all strategies listed and we did them all Yeah, nobody forces you to play, but we love this game. I want to play. I play with the... Uh, I work... I find ways around the bugs. And most of them aren't in my way, just so you know, right? Most of them aren't in my way. They're just inconveniences. But some people, they really are in their way, right? They're stuck on progression and stuff like that. So, I mean, that just... That's priority one, I think. New players should be taken care of. So, like, if I were to optimize this build, I'm wondering, like, if I uh, take off Uzina 
and put on the Murakamis, that might be a smarter move, right? Because uh, something like that, I guess. Um, because then we're going to get this skill duration and repairs. We're using both and we're going to get the regen. Um, and then still be happy with the amount of armor on kill over here. And then we're going to get 2% regen. Now I think it'd be smarter that way so that we're always healing in between kills better, I guess. And then, um, I do got a bell stone here, but it's a skill tier. Let me see here. I think I got a bell stone up here. Let's get this mixed around. Let me see if I can try this hot shot with armor here. And then get a bell stone, a red bell stone up here. I think I have that. Then I'll optimize it a little bit later by moving things around. And then that gets rid of Uzina, which was giving us extra armor, which we don't really need. And so uh, we keep our 1.1 and then we keep all of our armor. So there's 15, there's 10, and then, uh, yeah, 15 and 10. So we're down to 25% actually, which is a lot. Let's play with that and see what we think about it. 25% armor on kills, not bad. And, but then we get the 2% regen with that. All right. I mean, it's kind of reminds me of. I mean, if we could only get some more protection from elites on here. Yeah, you know, yeah, my watch isn't really that crazy. I know it seems like it for new players that like I got this crazy big watch, but it's actually not <laughs> not big. It seems like it for a new player. I know. But trust me, when you see people out there with almost a million watch, which is is a real thing. No, but there's people out there with 100,000, you know. Um, but people that have been playing as long as I have are usually at like about 13, about 13 million. Damn, that was aggressive, bro. Cut, cool it with the aggro. Come out and play. Oh, you lucky dog. I had that one charged up waiting for him. Fuck. What happens when you miss your shot? It all falls apart. Thank you. 
Damn, they're everywhere, these guys. So you got to watch those elevation changes like that. They they get you to miss a lot. It's mainly why they do it. <laughs> Pretty sure. Just so you can miss. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Where the fuck? It's like he didn't have a fucking head. <laughs> Sorry about the foul language. Oh, whatever, dude. Got a glare on my TV right now. It's kind of annoying. That's not going to go well. You missed that shot, you toast. Zone, what's up, man? Good, good. We just got done with the manhunt. Took a few tries at the end. And in the middle, actually. I went down a couple of times at that Potomac one. I did all the bosses back to back. Come on, guys. Quit making me reset. You'll time out if you take too long, you know. I feel like they keep doing that to me on purpose. Oh. Sorry, there's an invisible shield. Dude, where's my car? <laughs> Again. Part D. What a wonderful goddamn day to be alive. 
supply room access unlocked. Yeah, I don't know if the Murakamis are doing anything for me. I mean, we're playing around right now. I mean, it's um, the, the original version was was fine. So, but it went like this. Let's put it back on. So, um, it's mostly for people that like to max out their stats in one way or the other. Min max roll, but the original one was the five. I know it's gonna be crazy. You're gonna be like, what's going on here? He's got so much armor on kill. But yeah, one kill, basically 50% armor on kill. And with one bullet, so one bullet gets you there. Here is Xena there. So yeah, so uh, 10, 20, 30, 45. 45% armor on kill. Yeah, so there's no real armor on kill to add except for mods, which aren't really that worth it. And so, but probably dropping the 511s is, is worth it, you know, because they put the armor on kill in your attribute slot. And so it's just taking a handling where everything else has got the double. And then, uh, of course, the, the system's corruption gives you more armor on kill. So, um, you know, it, it's probably worth getting rid of the 511s, but it's just kind of fun to run, you know, the 45%. Because every now and again, you really use it, you know? You take a lot of damage, and then you're sitting there, and you're like, oh. And then one headshot kill, or even a body shot kill because of Determined, you know, refills your armor about three quarters of the way <laughs> with your fixer kind of... And you got 1% armor regen from Bellstone, so it's all kind of leading to you getting full armor all the time. Yeah, uh, Golden Bullet's the next big farming event. I mean, that's the one where you want to take time off of work, tell your family you won't see them for a week, <laughs> just play, 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 have fun at the same time as getting red stars and XP. Glare right on my screen, not making it easy. Let's do this. It's like right in the center. I got skylights, so they're not easy to get rid of. Might as well work in a cave. Ooh, that fucking hurt. The hell of a grenade. You see how much more we got back right there? I mean, it's nice. So it gives you uh, the ability to feel free to take a little bit of damage. So it's like the memento that that way, except you don't have to go get the trophies. The hell? Oh, 
Oh, he found me. Headshot? What was it? And we determine it's an easy 45%, right? Just a one bullet to the body. So basically every other kill is just an easy 45. It's not even a challenge to get that 45. shot And I like that I'm not running, uh, that it's not preservation in a way because uh, doesn't matter which weapon I'm using, I'll get it. Dynamite Dukes. Welcome man, man. Like right there. That's a nice example. You know, because we're running 1.1 million armor with protection from leads. And you saw these guys can just do a good job of taking it from you. I mean, there's nothing special with her. But she hit hard, hard enough to clean that armor really fast. We could test this with directives too. Uh, it should work really well. The only one is, you know, you gotta watch your ammo if you're playing like this. So maybe Pistolero would be annoying. It's fun, though. It's fun. It's fun to be able to do this with a build that's not the memento. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I want to keep that one. Tip of spear with skill damage. So I don't feel like I need the weapon handling. That's the one piece that I'm kind of really debating is do i run the one piece of murakami i mean of hotshot or not you know um because we got we got a lot of stability and that's that's part of what really matters stability accuracy doesn't help a lot on marksman's but reload speed also is helpful and 2.3 seconds is you know could be better we're not having a problem so I, you know there's nothing to fix but i'm thinking for like maybe for other players that would be the piece to replace and if you did replace it, it would be with that and it's only for the handling because you don't need the marksman rifle damage and then by doing that that pushes it down to 1.8 seconds so that's that's four point four seconds less
So let me try it one more time. I'm going back and forth between those two pieces now. I'm trying to figure out which way do I want to run it. And then... I mean, utility-wise, you would want the weapon handling. Uh, because we're, we're chain-killing enough that we're, our armor stays up. But every now and again, you, you're at that... You know, like where the boss broke our armor. Having that extra 10%. Very helpful. And it's actually giving you income and repairs too. And we are running the fixer, so it's not a complete waste uh, from the 511. Yeah, you should be fine. And if you're not playing from uh, out of cover, then you're having more fun with it. Yeah, snipers are really good at taking out tech too, by the way. If you plan your shots, if you're good at planning it. Like, oh, there's a tank out there. Let me kill him. And then kill the tank, you know? If you, if you can do that, then you save everybody. Nice little headache. So I got the handling back on now. So let's see what we think. You gotta get used to your new handling when you change it by the way even if it's better even if your handling's better it's just you got this little muscle memory thing going Oh shit, I didn't see her. Fuck. Oh shit, that's a big boy. <laughs> that hurt. Who's this other girl? So this is where your armor on kill is gonna help. Ugh. Damn. Oh fuck, I missed. Fucking glare. Can't see shit. Okay, I guess we got him. His helmet's really strong, so I don't tend to go for his head. I'm that guy. Stop shooting me, man. My own guy. Fuck. Can't fucking see right now. It's gonna drive me nuts. The sun is all moving around the globe. <laughs> Messing up my gaming. How dare you, sun?
Oh, not one of these guys. Fuck, he's right behind me. Get away, dude. Oh my god, and the reach! He's got some amazing reach! Double kill! Right on. Yeah, Steven, we had to do it. We did everything to get through it. All of the recommended. Uh, so we walked slow. We changed our map. Just played on normal mode. Change your map to normal mode. It's not, it's not that challenging in a fight anyways. I'm recommending people play it on normal mode anyways at the, the White House. And then right as after we skipped the cutscene, which was right after the hologram echo, then we fast traveled to the castle. We didn't hang out there. We fast traveled right away. And that seemed to work for us. But, you know, we did it in stages. And so it took me three times, basically. And I've heard that from a lot of people. It took me three times. <laughs> so that's why playing it on normal mode is going to be very helpful because you can do it in less than 10 minutes it's a little annoying yep magoo thanks for that sub with your prime cool yeah very cool bill i mean this is probably the better way to roll it you know with this one piece for the handling um But, like, for me personally, it felt about the same um, just running the incoming repairs. And that's because our stability is so high. So, this is 125% stability. And with the hot shots, it's 155% stability. So, and then you get a faster reload. And that fast reload is nice. It allows you to play faster, you know. But it's just, you know, kind of putting you into the overpowered build category. So you're one shot killing. And with that one shot kill, you're getting almost 50% armor back from a single kill. Plus, you got your regen and your fixer. And then you got income and repairs. So it's actually a pretty interesting build just like this. I'm tempted to keep it like this. So they both worked. Um... I'm gonna do a little bit of weapon handling there to pick up. And then we could take off. One thing we could do is we could take off the protection from elites right there. Put with and put headshot damage. And by doing that, we could actually add more weapon handling. Um, maybe here. Yeah, I guess that would be it. The only piece we could do it to is try to I think I have five elements of weapon handling. But Boxu, what's up? can't going on so yeah fun cool everybody well i'm gonna take a break because i gotta i can feel my belly rumbling it's hungry i've got up real early today um and then i will be on later but i think i might be working on a video tonight i think i might want to do another drop for you guys tomorrow the latest smg build the one that dropped yesterday is pinned at the top you should check that one out and the stovepipe build if you uh 
want to run the stream back to see how it did we have a few variations of it depending on where we were in the mission but this is a stovepipe build basically and you could run obliterate chest or not and for most of it we ran obliterate the only time i didn't was really against the marauders the uh araldi pristine example chest piece uh is is pretty good against those marauders we cleared that really easy actually there was a two man it was me and another guy from the clan sledge that's the way to go but yeah so tons of fun so i am gonna put this out because i know a lot of you guys haven't done this looks like 45 percent of you haven't done your manhunt yet but I do got to see say that this really made it pretty easy. I mean, I have 1.8 million armor and uh, we're hitting over about 1.1 million. Um, very powerful. And we're using and it's on theme. It's a theme build. And so it's it's stovepipes build. That's what we're calling it because he uses the F2000. I mean, we didn't get to see much of stovepipe, huh? I mean, he was basically dead the whole time. <laughs> boo, boo, stovepipe, boo. All right, everybody, take it easy again. Take a break. I'll catch you in a little bit. Have fun out there, man. Enjoy it. Just work through that bug. What can we say? Tuxedo out.